بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اور ٹوڈے وید ٹاپک آف واٹ وید ٹاپک آف ڈائیوڈ ایکویولنٹ سرکٹس سو ڈائیوڈ یو نو سرکٹ یو نو واٹ از ایکویولنٹ سو واٹ ڈو وی مین بائی دا ایکویولنٹ سرکٹ سو این ایکویولنٹ سرکٹ از اے کمبینیشن آف ایلیمنٹس پراپرلی چوزن ٹو بیسٹ ریپرزینٹ دی ایکچوئل کیریکٹرسٹکس آف اے ڈیوائس ان اے پرٹیکولر آپریٹنگ region so this is what the definition the book has given <coughs> and i hope you have already understood it and what would be that combination of elements so the combination of elements uh, would be the different combinations of resistors inductors capacitors you could say right so what would we do in this case is that we would represent we would replace the diode by what by a different combination of these elements in a particular given circuit where those elements would show the exact characteristics in that region as shown by the diode in that conditions battery applied potential this and that the the properties the curve the behavior of these elements would be the same as a diode would show so that is why we would be replacing it so why are we replacing it the question could arise in your mind why are we replacing it if it has the same behavior if it has the same property so if if you say why so the thing is that that when you have diode or transistor or something like this in your circuit so you do not know how what to what mathematical tools to apply to it right you don't know what circuit analysis rules to apply to it for example if you have a diode in a circuit you cannot apply ohm's law to it you cannot apply the norton's theorem to it yes what about thevenin's theorem superposition theorem and multiple Uh, multiple circuit analysis tools so you cannot apply to it but when you have a resistor you and you have inductor when you have a capacitor etc the basic things so you can apply these circuit analysis tools so this is the reason that we replace the diode by an equivalent circuit in a circuit diagram to to do what to 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 analyze it to solve the problem to solve the circuit fine so this is for the basic definition now we have uh, three equivalent circuits in our book so the first that we have is the piecewise linear equivalent circuit so the first that we have is uh, the piecewise piecewise linear and equivalent so i would write eq and then you have a circuit so what do you have in this case the thing is that you assume the curve to be linear although it's non-linear and we will have a little non-linearity as well but we don't assume but we don't take it a proper exponential curve we do not although we do not take it a straight 90 degree curve as well but we do not take it a an exponential as well so we take it somewhere in between the complete vertical and the exponential so we take it somewhere over here fine now why is this why is this why are we not taking it a complete vertical curve so i'm telling you the reason or you could say that this is the same exponential curve you know if this is the voltage across the diode and this is the current through it so you uh, know the basic things already but you would have heard me right now saying voltage across the diode okay so we for voltage we say what voltage across and for current we say what the current through although you may know this point definitely but Uh, i said it so let's say we, we just have a little okay anyways so what do we do in this case is that you have the same curve you could say you have the barrier potential so when the barrier potential is achieved you have this sort of a curve this is your this is your curve right so if you assume it to be linear 
you can assume it to be linear over the barrier potential and let's say this is the curve that you have assumed so have a look there is a greater difference so we cannot assume it to be like this anyways so what is the, the the thing is that this could be used to find this defines the resistance level of a device when it is in the on state so for so this is used what this is used to calculate the resistance level of a device now how do we calculate the resistance level so you know that the slope of a curve the slope of a curve is represented by tangent of theta and this gives uh, this is given by the perpendicular by base right so the perpendicular is the current and 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 the base is the voltage right so what do we have and from ohm's law we know that v is equal to i r so which implies what that r is equal to v upon i so which means that the slope of this curve that the one upon slope of the curve gives you the resistance of the diode one upon slope gives you the resistance of the diode r d which is what which is uh, your v d upon i d is that fine although although ohm's law diode diode is a non-linear element so di so so the ohm's law is not applicable to it but this we do just for a basic understanding so rd is equal to vd upon id is that clear till here it is now how to replace this by a by a circuit so if you have a diode in your circuit and you have to replace it by the piecewise linear model so let's say if this is your circuit so how do you replace it by the piecewise linear model is like this you have what you have the barrier potential this is your vb and you have the resistance of the diode r d and this is how you replace it this is your piecewise linear equivalent circuit of the diode which is number one this is called the body resistance or it's also called the bulk resistance okay so this resistance this is called the body resistance or bulk resistance is it clear till here let's see if we have something so let at 0 0.8 volts uh, we have what at 0 0.8 volts we have a current of 10 pico ampere so let's say uh, 10 uh, milliamperes let's say this is somewhere 0 0.8 so over here we have a current of 10 milliamps so we are asked to find if if the vd is 0 0.8 volts and the current to the diode is 10 milliamperes at that point so if the resistance of the diode is unknown so what do we do so the resistance is the slope so you could say a change a voltage divided by change of current right so uh, this is basically one over the slope right so the slope would be the change of current divided by change of voltage but our resistance is one over slope so we could say that the resistance would be the change of voltage divided by the change of current so which means what that your rd is 0.8 and let's say we take another point to be 0.7 and if this is considered to be a silicon material so 0.7 is the barrier potential at which the current would be zero so at this point you have the current to be 10 milliamps at this point you have a current to be zero so with this implies what this gives you the resistance of the diode which is 10 ohms this is quite a large value although but anyways so this is what you do the basic thing is that the piecewise linear equivalent circuit is the more nearest to the to the to the exact one where you have the barrier potential you have the resistance of the diode is that fine hmm is that fine okay the second 
Number two. Number two is what? The constant voltage drop model. Or it's also called the simplified equivalent circuit. Number two. Constant voltage drop model CVD or it's also called the simplified equivalent circuit the second in this case what are the assumptions what are the assumptions in this case that we have a linear curve a complete linear curve we have a fully linear curve in this case okay over there we assumed it to be a little linear but over here we have it a completely linear curve you have the barrier potential achieved and after that you have a linear curve before that of course the current is zero and the reverse bias region also you could say this is zero ignoring the breakdown region or a little saturation current or whatever it is ignoring them we don't have to do anything with the reverse bias <coughs> fine so what did we do in this case we assume number one number one we assumed linearity linear curve and the linear curve would imply what you could see from here this implies that if you have a linear curve so which means the change of voltage would be zero and if the change of voltage is zero this implies that rd is zero linear curve implies what that change of voltage is zero and the change of voltage is zero so this implies what that the resistance of the diode is zero isn't it like this it is one over slope is zero so which means that the slope is infinite slope is infinite right rd is zero rd is zero so with this implies what that your slope is infinite and slope is infinite means what tangent infinity is infinite so which means that theta is tangent inverse of infinity which is a 90 degrees and we've already shown over here so the first thing is that you have a linear curve so the second would be what the second would be that you have the resistance of the diode equal to zero so which means that if you have this sort of a circuit so what do you replace it by so you replace it by the the barrier potential only you replace it only by the barrier potential this is the voltage across the diode and this is the barrier potential this is the voltage across the diode this is the barrier potential this is done when the voltage across the diode is greater than the barrier potential in the forward bias region when the voltage across the diode is less than vb so of course you have an open circuit when the vd is less than barrier potential and isn't it like this so it is it is like this fine this is how you replace it this is how you replace it in the circuit number third number third is the ideal equivalent circuit so what do we have in the ideal equivalent circuit is that we don't have any body resistance we don't have any barrier potential you just apply the voltage and without any resistance the current flows so this means what this means that the resistance of the diode is zero and also the barrier uh, so let me write a proper r resistance of the diode is zero and the barrier potential is also zero so which means what what sort of a graph will you have what sort of a graph will you have voltage across the diode 
and this is the current to the diode so what would we have if the resistance is zero so it would be a completely linear curve as we know from here if the resistance is zero so this would imply that theta is 90 degrees right theta is 90 degrees this we know and if the barrier potential is zero so it will not need any voltage to turn on so which means that it will turn on right at v is equal to zero so this is your curve and if you are given a diode in a circuit if you are given a diode in a circuit like this connected through a battery with an applied voltage vd and let me also make this with the black color so that it's better for an for an understanding purpose the red is the replaced circuit the black is the already present circuit so in this case what would you do in the forward bias region now we don't have any barrier potential so we not say vd greater than uh, uh, greater than the vb right so you directly say vd greater than zero and vd greater than zero is directly a forward bias region so in that case what would you have uh, so if this is your forward bias region and now if you have a reverse bias so how to replace the diode so so in the forward bias region when vd is greater than zero which means the forward bias so you directly replace the ideal diode by a short circuit whereas in the reverse bias where vd is supposed to be less than zero you have to replace it by an open circuit equivalent and that is it that is it so these are the three equivalent circuits and i believe this one is the mostly used this one is the mostly used circuit equivalent circuit the constant voltage drop model if you give if you can if you compare these the ideal versus practical diode A point why do we do it like this so because the resistance of the network is resistance of the network other elements is far greater than the resistance of the diode so that is why we assume it to be zero similarly the voltage dropped across the network elements other network elements are far greater than the barrier potential of the diode 0.7 so that's why we assume this to be zero ideal versus practical so what do we have the difference is like this so you know very well you have this vd you have this id so this black represents the practical diode let's see also talk about the breakdown region so the black is the practical diode practical means what experimentally checked values experimentally verified graph and the ideal is what ideal is the theoretical values with with assumptions that voltage across this is zero the resistance is zero and this and that and this we've seen so this is the graph for that is that fine it is so now you could uh, you could have seen from this video or from the basic understanding of the diode till now that the diode is acting as a switch that is acting as a switch but under certain condition what is that condition is the barrier potential and let's say if we don't have the barrier potential as well so this is acting as a switch have a look for some value it's short circuit for some it's open circuit so which means this is a switch over here it's a closed mechanical switch over here it's an open mechanical switch so yes this is a property of switch and but we have a point and what is that point so let me write over here that diode versus switch so so we have a diode what's the switch is what it's acting as a switch you know you've understood it but the difference is that the diode allows current only in one direction 
डायोड अलाउस करंट ओनली इन वन डायरेक्शन नॉट द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन वेयर एज अ स्विच अलाउस करंट इन बोथ डायरेक्शन दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एन इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंस द ओनली डिफरेंस between a diode and a mechanical switch have a look the current through this diode will only flow from p to n it will not flow in the opposite direction right but if you have a, if you have a simple switch so the current can flow through it in this direction as well as well as in the reverse direction as well depending on the polarity but over here if you reverse the polarity as well so the current will not flow through this Or it will only flow from P to N. That's the difference between a diode and a simple mechanical switch. That is it. So I finish this video over here. See you in the next one very soon, inshallah. With what? Uh, so we have the resistance levels to cover, and in that the Q point is involved. So first we'll see a little load line analysis from chapter two, and then we'll go to. that so anyways see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourself and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers and do subscribe to the channel goodbye